Hello Explorers! Welcome to today's tour video mini. One quick presentation, packed with news regarding Jurassic Explorer's very first patch. Without any delay, let's buckle up and get ready to explore. Season 2 released a few months ago with much praise. It's been a joy to see everybody experience and explore the incredible environments and worlds we've created. With our new patch system, it means we can now bring you free updates without the need to re-download the game. For the last two months, we've been working hard on completing our very first patch, and it's dino-sized. So let's begin with something we've been teasing for a while. Halloween may have passed in the real world, but in the simulation, anything's possible. If you look up into the sky, you'll see a mysterious purple aura surrounding you. This is the all-new Halloween theme. Explore every non-ticket location in this spooky theme, complete with jack-o'-lanterns that glow with fire, candles that light up the night, witch hats that look ever so stylish, and many Halloween-themed decorations filling the park. The haunting music playing now will also fill your ears as you explore with the Halloween theme equipped. It's a dark and scary theme and lets people experience what the park may look like during this spooky season. What horrors will you find? Next up, I'm excited to announce two newcomers to the simulation. Yes, that's right, Mr. DNA has been hard at work and has introduced two all new dinosaurs to the park. Our first newcomer is... Brachiosaurus. This long-necked giant and iconic creature will now roam your Gyrosphere Valley. And we can't forget its friend, Parasaurolophus. <laughs> These two new dinosaurs are now available to buy using Emporium coins you've collected in the game. Watch as they explore with you in the valley alongside all your other dinosaurs. Combine them with all the other dinosaur add-ons to truly fill your valley with these beautiful creatures. Now more than ever, you can experience dinosaurs to the max in Jurassic Explorer. This is the most dinosaurs we've had in any location to date, so it's quite a sight to see. These two new dinosaurs were our highest requested additions for the future, so we hope you enjoy watching them explore the park. Oh, and I can't forget, once you own both dinosaurs in the Emporium, you'll unlock a brand new ticket location. While small, we couldn't launch our very first patch without an all new location for everyone to explore. Brachiosaurus Plains, 1993. These famous plains showcase many Brachiosaurs and Parasaurolophus roaming the valley. You may recognize this location as one of the first places you ever saw a dinosaur all those years ago in 1993. Brachiosaurus will be found roaming through the lake peacefully. If you're lucky, you might even catch a Brachiosaurus lifting its body to snack on a high tree. Mr. DNA's Emporium has of course been updated with many new additions. Be sure to search for the new tag on each item, that'll tell you which addition is new for this patch. One of the new items is the Trick or Treat Bucket. Buying this bucket lets you take place in a special Halloween event hosted by Mr. DNA. Explore non-ticket locations and try to find hidden candy pouches. They're typically much harder than trophies to find, and there's only a few in each location, so keep your eyes peeled. Each candy pouch is worth 100 Emporium Coins, so collecting them all is a great new way to bring in some funds. Of course, our gacha has also been updated. Now in the gacha tab is an all new button that lets you see what rare items are available to win. It's a handy new way to see what's up for grabs. From retro 8-bit balloons to some extra Halloween centerpieces, be sure to play gacha to test your luck and win some fun items. But with all this said, there's no much point to these new items without new ways to earn coins, right? Let's take a visit to the arcade. Isla Nubla Arcade, the perfect place to relax and game. But wait, if you look close, it seems there's something new inside. Entering the arcade location now brings you inside the building to a new menu. Two arcade games present themselves. Mr. DNA's Jurassic Kart is an all-new polygon-styled arcade game we're currently working on. We'll have more information about that game in the future. But, going back, you can spot the classic arcade adventure game you've all grown to love. Or is it? Well, we've watched many of you play our arcade game and took some criticisms and suggestions. 
In the end, we decided to totally revamp and remake the arcade adventure game from the ground up. New levels, new enemies, new power-ups, boss battles, and even Fallen Kingdom levels. This is an all new experience, and it's like nothing you've played before. Firstly, Mr. DNA's arcade adventure is structured like a full game now, starting you out with worlds that have levels inside them, as well as bonus levels for completing that world. This greatly extends playability. Not only this, while the levels themselves are randomly generated from chunks, we've made sure when the player dies or quits, it keeps the same chunk data from that level, meaning levels won't randomly change up if you make a mistake. You can use this to learn each level structure and see where you might have gone wrong. The arcade adventure is made up into six worlds, starting with Jurassic Park, The Lost World, Jurassic Park 3, Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom, and the super challenging final world, Lockwood Manor. Each world has a variety of levels with unique power-ups, enemies, music, and graphics. Let's take a look at the two new power-ups. Firstly, there's the DNA Strand, which gives you an extra heart, meaning you will be resilient to getting hit once. It's perfect for taking risks or just an extra cautious seal. Then, we have a much requested power-up, the DNA Ball. Grabbing this power-up lets you fire DNA balls at your enemies with a control button. You'll now finally have a way to take down those vicious compies and unpredictable raptors. Also new is the score system. You can officially compare your high scores with your friends. Simply finish the game and screenshot your final score with F11. Then, post it on our score forum or our social media online to see who's truly the number one at Jurassic Explorer. There's so much to do and explore, and I won't spoil it all here today, so be sure to check it out yourself. Moving on to our final note, we've of course spent a long time listening to player feedback, watching Let's Plays, and taking suggestions. Which means we've also found all the bugs and hiccups you guys may have encountered. With this first patch, it fixes a vast majority of bugs or balancing issues, including our biggest bug regarding trophy saves. I hope this patch helps many of you jump back into Jurassic Explorer and unlock those many locations you may not have been able to before. We'll continue to patch and fix bugs as they come, so be sure to post them to our bug report forums on our website below. Closing out, how do you go about downloading the patch? Well, it's actually quite simple. Once the patch is live, after this presentation, simply launch Jurassic Explorer Season 2. Once loaded, the patcher should pop up and start downloading and decompressing the patch. Depending on your internet connection or computer, this could take some time, so please be patient and keep it running. Once the patch is decompressed, it'll ask you to restart the game. Simply close the game, launch it again, and you should be up to date with the latest patch. Now, you're free to explore and enjoy the new content. Everyone on the Dimensional Digital team has worked incredibly hard to make this patch and project a reality, so please give a round of applause and warm support to the many talented folks on the team. We all do this out of our spare time for free, as it's a passion fan project we truly believe in and love. We hope you continue to support Jurassic Explorer and enjoy what's next to come with future patches. I want to thank you again for tuning in to today's presentation. My name is Michael, and it's been a pleasure being today's tour guide. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time, explorers.